to play it all off. <laughs> no? That could be your intro. <laughs> Good morning vlog. It is Saturday and I am really tired and super nauseous. Like the nausea is real. In fact, I'll probably pre-medicate this over him before I eat anything. But anyways, um, we are out getting some food from, you guessed it, Publix. Publix. And um, yeah, that's what we're doing because Nate's stomach won't stop grumbling and reminding us how well it functions compared to mine. And, which is like super rude. I mean, really, my stomach is so offended that it's just gone on strike. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, that's exactly terrible that's gastroparesis that's jokes. Anyways, we're going to Publix because we're gonna get some sandwiches because Publix sandwiches are good. Also, we're gonna get some cereal because, so this is terrible and you can judge me for it, I don't even care. But, um, you know, growing up, my mom, is from El Salvador. Whenever we would cook something Hispanic, we would have crema, which is usually like either half and half or heavy whipping cream mixed with sour cream with some salt. And it's basically just like Hispanic sour cream, basically. Anywhere you would put sour cream if you're an American, that's where Hispanics put crema. But we would also, on occasion, for treats, she would get like half and half and we would make cereal with that. And it would be really good although extremely unhealthy, but it was just for treats. She didn't do this all the time. But anyways, we, um, my dad went out to get some groceries the other day and he was supposed to get some half and half and some heavy whipping cream for some recipes I was gonna make. Accidentally got no heavy whipping cream and two things of half and half, so we're gonna have like a bunch of leftover half and half. So I figured I would do us all a favor and just eat it, you know, with some cereal. Probably not today, cause I'll just vomit it up, but maybe tomorrow or the day after that. So we're gonna go get some half and half friendly cereal because you got to have the right cereal you can't do this with just any cereal you gotta have the right type of cereal and we're also gonna get some sandwiches and that's that's basically it some oh yeah and of course the raspberry sweet tea right, so show real. that's very real but that's pretty heavy yeah that's well i am a little bit drenched and nate is a lot drenched because it sort of started pouring the second we got to Publix. oh well we went inside anyways and got the stuff we need but yeah, that happened. Anyways, I love the rain because it's kind of keeps temperatures cooler around here at least. And it's um, like the sun isn't as bright and the sun really hurts my eyes. But it's not too great when you're in a wheelchair because then I can't push myself when the rims get super soaking wet. I look like a dork. But I got a neck brace, sort of. It's actually just like a neck rest intended for able-bodied people to be able to sleep on long planes. But for me, it's gonna be a, I don't think I'm gonna wear it every day, but I'm gonna wear it whenever my neck is doing this stupid thing where it's hurting like a lot, like a lot. And whenever I have one of those stupid tension headaches. So yeah, link in the description probably if I remember to put it there. Well, Nate left to go have dinner with his family because it is one of his brother's birthdays. So I'm just sitting here infusing. Didn't go with him because the nausea today has been really bad. So I didn't think I'd be able to enjoy dinner. And um, because my anxiety has been really bad, I probably was gonna have a panic attack if I went. So instead I'm gonna try to be productive while infusing and put away all this laundry. Wish me luck. my laundry because my back started hurting really badly from having to lean forward which is what happens whenever I try to do shores in this wheelchair because it doesn't fit me correctly but I certainly did diminish the pile I have this really complicated laundry system so that I can reach most of my things in my wheelchair but things like my dresses I have to put them aside and my mom helps me pick them up later so now I just gotta feed the bird some pellets because he's completely out and is kind of throwing a tantrum about it. 
guess what we're doing? Well, first of all, Nate's back, but he's not here right now because he got to go get Rudy. He's seven. But we're playing Skyrim. Anything about Skyrim, I really enjoy it. I actually couldn't play it for about a year, even though I owned the game, because my migraines um, had inhibited kind of my ability to deal with motion, I guess. Anyways, um, I am really scared of these like skeleton enemy things, so I always make Nate kill those, and he has to warn me whenever they're about to pop up. Which means I really have to know the game very well. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, you said yourself you've played it like a billion times. Only the main quest, like Dragonborn, like the DLC, Dragonborn area, I'm sorry, like... There's, there's gonna be times probably where I don't know what's happening because I've never played it before, so... Yeah, I've gotten scared a few times because of his lack of knowledge. <clears throat> well, I played a bunch of Skyrim and that was super fun. I took some Zofran for my nausea, which helped, so that was good. And now I am going to brush my hair, which will probably take me an hour, and then go to bed. So thank you for watching today's vlog. Please be sure to like my channel, or like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.